Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a breakdown of the brand new character that joined the base character roster recently and that character is Rengoku and I'm going to be giving you guys tips and tricks. So with this particular character guys, I feel like Rengoku is Tanjiro updated but with Hitnokami 24-7. So the very first move that we have for Rengoku is called Unknowing Fire. This particular move launches yourself at your opponent and it can also be used as a guard break move as well, which is great for combo extensions or if you're trying to do a startup move so that way you can catch your opponent off guard in order to do some devastating damage. This next particular move is similar to like Tanjiro's. It is called Blooming Fire where Rengoku literally Literally wrapping his opponent with his sword and there's some flame animations going on in the background In my personal opinion this is great for opening up your opponent if they're standing still and another thing that's positive about this particular move is that if they're not really paying attention the flames could you know somewhat blind you in a way if they're not really paying attention and you could like do some excruciating damage especially if you have a teammate with you at your side as for the third special that we have is called rising universe where he launches his opponent up in the air and if you press the button again he slammed his opponent on the ground so the last special that we have for you guys is called Flaming Tiger, where Rengoku throws a Flaming Tiger projectile, and it could also be used as a guard break move as well. Now, in terms of Rengoku's base form, when you're using M1s and specials against your opponents online, my recommendations would be to use Unknowing Fire and Rising Universe. So for option one, you could use Unknowing Fire as your startup, and then you lead up to the M1s by doing a ground slam, but before you do the ground slam for your m1 you could use your rising universe instead or finish off with the ground slam while hard up and matching rising universe but for option two you could use both unknowing fire and rising universe after you're seeing your opponent in the air and just chain them together and then finish it off with the rising universe by slamming them into the ground as for Rengoku's awakening he has some more specials now compared to his prestige counterpart he has flame pillar where he slams your enemy on the ground Fire Cutter where he has a huge hitbox where he rapid hit your opponent. Then he have Tenchi Kanjin where he sends your opponent flying away. And then he has his knife for when Goku with his damn near a one shot move, but it does about 85% damage where his opponent cannot move while he does the whole speech where he did in the uh, Mugen Train arc against Akaza. While you're in this awakened state with Rengoku, just understand that if you use the knife for Rengoku, you will die afterwards. Or if you don't even use any of your specials, regardless, you know, you will still die regardless once your meter goes down to complete zero. So your main objective to get the max amount of damage against your opponent is just do at least 15% of damage with one of your special moves or M1s and then finishing off with a knife form. The best times to use it is when you're trying to get your opponent as low as possible in terms of lives. So if they have like two lives left maybe you want to get them to one life or just save your awakening until you feel like it's best to use you know so that way you know you have the playing field to your advantage and that is all that i have for you guys in today's video if you have any other tips or recommendations that people should use while using rengoku to be used as his maximum potential let me know in the comment section down below and share your knowledge with people in the comment section and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video peace